I wanted to do was impress my family. So the way I went about it was doing pottery. Worked out how to make teapots. <laughs> Good teapots. <laughs> you know, but then leaving college, there was that, that moment where financial practicality kicked in. <laughs> to make a teapot practically for the time it takes, to throw it, to dry it, to turn it, to get it in the kiln, to get it to market, as they say. Oh, Probably about, well, it's about 89 hours a teapot. <laughs> now, we're running costs and overheads. <laughs> that means when I sell that teapot, I've got to sell that teapot for about 80 quid. <laughs> Seems steep. So, on a low day, when teapots aren't selling so well, to cheer myself up. What I normally do is I go to TK Maxx. <laughs> I go to TK Maxx as an artist. Not like you, not just for cheap trainers. <laughs> I went and quite often, you know when you're going, God, that's a duvet cover I just didn't know I wanted. <laughs> But then a piece of objet d'art caught me eye. <laughs> Didn't catch me eye, it mocked me. <laughs> it mocked me as an artist. It made me realise that I've been <laughs> throwing my life away. <laughs> because if I can spend nine hours working on a teapot that I can only just about break even by charging 80 quid How the hell can TK Maxx <laughs> produce work of this kind of quality <laughs> for only twelve ninety nine? And you don't know what that quality is, but I am telling you, I'm not here to mock it. I'm here to praise it. Twelve ninety nine, twelve ninety nine. God only knows the man hours that went into it. You judge for yourselves.